the Death Toaster is a battle rating 5.7 mobile bakery stand capable of making Mike Tozboon drop his pants faster than any Panzer IV ever could. The VFW, which stands for way too many German words for this fucking program to handle, is what happens when you give German engineers an inbred Panzer IV hull, a spare flak gun and too much Caprice. Which are all combined to make one of the most disappointing excuses for a German tank destroyer. And that's because it was designed to blast braindead low orbit satellites known as American bomber players out of the air. It compensates for this by dispensing fascist propaganda faster than the far left, and an 88mm long darn that sits somewhere penetration wise between the magic flak bus and the Nashville spicy chicken tractor. CHICKEN STRIPS! But all this comes at the cost of being at the same BR as the arguably more effective waffle tractor. In addition, with the German engineers not knowing what to do with the extra Capri Sun packages, they decided it would be great to give Hans a false sense of security and make the Capri Sun packages part of the armor. Which by the way, despite being worthless at protecting the crew, the folding Capri Sun active protection system is so advanced that it won't fuse APHE shells. Seriously, if all German tanks used Capri Sun armor they wouldn't suffer so much. This makes it harder to one shot than the comment section of the Battlefield Engineer event video. But anyways, the armor won't protect you. And neither will Hans's magically disappearing backpacks which disappears and reappears depending on how lewd you decide to be with your toaster. Like any good small kitchen appliance, the VFW has two modes which can only be switched in the hangar at the time of this review. These two modes also affect the traverse limits and the rate of fire. The latter of which is fucking stupid, since the crew doesn't move in the first place. My guess is, that it has something to do with the backpacks. Because everybody knows more backpack equals bigger dacker. However, less backpacks means less dacker. But the weight savings allows you to actually raise the side skirts. I guess. Ultimately it's up to you as to which mode you prefer to play. Speaking of playing, here is how to play the lewd kitchen appliance. You load 35 rounds of your favorite salted worst, followed up by 10 rounds of black bread, and 3 rounds of mediocrity. The more astute of you have noticed that I recommend taking full ammo on this box of disappointment. Congrats. You officially have slightly higher intelligence than 90% of your teams at this tier. All of your ammunition is stored in the hull, and if people aren't retardedly trying to sling 76mm HE at you, they will just aim for the hull and blast you away like the comment section of the battlefield You are not a brain dead kitchen sink, you are a sophisticated toaster, and as a result your job is to sit back and roast people with petty insults from long range using your 221mm of penetration. However, most of the time your team is utterly fucking worthless. So you'll often have to take this thing into close quarters because of Gajin's shitty game modes that punish you for playing smart. As this is a vehicle designed exclusively for Gajin chills, you won't need to worry about grinding out Han's clones. For crew skills everything is focused on the gun, since every other aspect of this vehicle is missing more wins than the average Tiabu. Focus your crew skills on more backpacks, leadership for even more backpacks, targeting because your traverse speed is literally unplayable plus backpacks, vitality to increase your crew's self-esteem, and vehicle repair for the pounding you're about to take. Also backpacks, and being the efficient kitchen appliance you are, prepare for a lot of that. Now you know how to play the thought box, now get out there, and embrace the shill you were meant to be.